Warning, the following content may be difficult for some viewers. The goals of this content is to reduce intimate partner violence, reduce contact sexual violence, reduce homicide due to intimate partner violence, and reduce sexual and physical adolescent dating violence. Oh, hurry up. You're taking forever. Like, seriously. You're okay, I'm sorry, so I'm going to need you to come with me Go while she talks with her. Why? Because she needs to that's, talk to that's her. That's my girlfriend. Why? I understand. She'll be right back. No. We're just going to go right out here and wait. Well, I have my right to be in there. Okay. Let's go that way. Okay, I did notice that you gave us a signal that you were needing help. Are you, is, are you ready for the domestic violence resources? Yes. Okay, we'll go ahead and set you up with that, and we'll get you in contact with the people that need it. Okay, okay thank you so much. Hi, my name is Kelly. I'm a nursing student here at NMJC. We have Kyle here, and we're going to talk about domestic violence. Um, what are some things as a community we can do to lower the risk of domestic violence within Lee County? Uh, best thing to do is educate yourself, and knowledge is key. Don't be afraid to speak up against domestic violence, but also be willing to listen to those that are um, victims of domestic violence or have been exposed to domestic violence. And that includes children as well. Um, domestic violence is a learned behavior. Right. Okay, perfect. How many calls um, on an estimate do you guys get of domestic violence within Lee County? It's estimated that last year during the year of 2021 that uh, law enforcement combined in all of Lee County responded to approximately over 3,000 calls for service in reference to domestic violence. Wow, that's a big number. Um, what are some signs of domestic abuse or violence that we can educate on? So um, there's various signs for domestic abuse, but it's not limited to, but some would be physical abuse that you could see such as pulling of hair, strangulation, pushing, pulling, grabbing, throwing to the ground. You might see some that are less recognizable, such as economic abuse, where they may be kept from getting a job or be given a certain allowance or forced to ask for money. Mm -hmm. There's isolation abuse, where they're kept away from maybe family and friends, not able to go to church or participate in their religious beliefs. Um, various things where they're just kind of kept away um, and controlled and then as well as verbal abuse and verbal abuse could be along the lines of name calling criticizing uh, or having no verbal contact at all and being silent from them okay awesome thank you um, how, how are the calls handled whenever you do receive a call of domestic violence so we receive a call for domestic violence um, it's handled in such a fashion that law enforcement officers are going to arrive on scene and they're going to separate all the parties that are involved. And once the parties are separated involved, we want to make sure that the scene is safe and secure and that the abuse or action has stopped. We're going to take make sure that anybody in need of immediate medical attention gets so right away. We're going to interview and talk together statements from all parties involved, including witnesses. We're going to want to identify who our victim is and who our primary aggressor is or the abuser in that matter. We're gonna gather evidence of the scene, including injuries. And then we're going to go along the process of establishing if a crime has been committed and make an arrest if probable cause um, has been established. From there, we're going to advise the victim of what resources are available to them after that. Okay, awesome. So what are some of the resources that you guys have to provide to domestic violence uh, victims? So law enforcement in Lee County, two of the main resources that we have and utilize pretty often are both gonna be located in Hobbs. One of those is Options Inc. and the other is the Phoenix House, both of which can provide shelter uh, for victims of domestic violence, transportation, and food. And one of the other things that they do is they'll assist with the filing of orders of protection and they're there to act as a victim advocate through the court process that follows and then through the healing process as well. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you for your time. If you or someone you know is suffering from domestic violence, please reach out to the following resources. Mm -hmm.